The South Koreans have managed to break the deadlock with their neighbors before, but after the failed summit in the Vietnamese capital Hanoi in February, when the U.S. appeared suddenly to change its demands at the negotiating table, this is a different kind of obstacle. The administration supposedly or reportedly has demanded that North Korea uh, abandon everything in a one-shot uh, big deal. But just structurally, that's impossible. All this is a sort of underestimated Donald Trump, because in Hanoi, he demands showed himself to be a rather tough negotiator, maybe excessively tough, I would say. As South Korean President Moon Jae-in prepares to meet the U.S. president, North Korea's newly elected Supreme People's Assembly is gathering in Pyongyang. It could endorse leader Kim Jong-un's new path of economic development instead of missile and nuclear testing. But to do that, he needs at least partial lifting of economic sanctions, which he'd hope to get at the Hanoi summit. Now President Moon is likely to push the U.S. administration for some sanctions relief, but he might be disappointed. Washington bureaucracy is dominated by the hardliners. And they believe that sanctions are just beginning to bite, and they might be right. So for now, we could be left in the same diplomatic limbo. People occasionally get their hopes up, uh, expecting some huge breakthrough. Uh, I guess we have to try to do that. But until we see some indications of change in ideology, worldview, perceptions, national interests of the stakeholders in the region, uh, we'll be stuck here for a while. But as long as there aren't missiles being launched or warlike threats being made, Many in Northeast Asia will settle for that. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Seoul.